Hey everybody, so I have a really quick empties video for you. It's been a while since I have done one, so I've accumulated some things, and I'm just going to jump right in. The first one is this Body Wash and Caress, the Passionate Spell fragrance. I've gone through several of these. I really like the scent. It's pretty moisturizing, and it's pretty cheap, so I would definitely repurchase that. And the next thing that came out of my shower is from Ben de Terre. This is the Coconut Papaya Ultra Hydrating, Hydrating Shampoo. I've shown you the conditioner, which I liked. Um, the shampoo, not my favorite. Actually, I can't remember it. It was the conditioner. The conditioner was okay, and the shampoo was just too hydrating in my opinion. Didn't really get my hair that clean. So unfortunately, I wasn't a huge fan of that line, and I had really high hopes for them. The next thing I th see is from Trader Joe's. This is the Coconut Body Butter. It's the second one I've gone through of this. Very similar to the Body Shop Coconut Body Butter scent. Um, but I like this one a little bit more and I think it's a little bit less expensive and it's less greasy So I would definitely repurchase next time I go to Trader Joe's. I did like that This is the Garnier BB cream light medium combo to oily skin. I've been using this sucker every day Whether it be on its own or mixing it with foundation or different BB creams I'm wearing it today mixed with a little bit of foundation. I don't know. It's just the perfect color for me it keeps my skin staying matte, it looks natural. I just really like it, it's long lasting and I'm just a really big fan of this BB cream so I've already repurchased another one of those. What is this? Oh, this is the CJ Butter Spritz. Um, this is a baby product but hey, it's empty so I put it in there and the label's ripped. This is my favorite diaper cream or di diaper rash lotion. It's in spray format so you don't have to touch anything. I haven't diapered kids in a long time, um, like two years now. Two years? Yeah, almost. But uh, sometimes Riley will get a rash and she really likes it. And I bought more for the new baby, so it's definitely a favorite. All right, this is from The Honest Company. It's the first time I've tried them out. I tried one of their sample packs and this is the multi-surface cleaner. This is not all <laughs> beauty related, I just realized, but that's okay, I hope you guys enjoy. This smells really good and it worked really well. I mean, there wasn't much in there, so I went through it like in a day, but um, I'm gonna look into the Honest Company stuff more because I haven't really looked at them. And the stuff I've tried, I liked, so I would check that out. They're like a more natural or a natural um, company that does diapers and cleaning products and prenatal vitamins, all sorts of things. Okay, this I've got an Ipsy box, it's called Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. That's what it looks like. I have to remind myself. It was okay. It wasn't super thick. Um, it was like the effectiveness of a good conditioner, but I wouldn't call it a hair mask for my hair anyways. It didn't, it was just okay. NYC Big Bold Curl uh, Mascara. This has a ginormous wand, very intimidating wand, but actually doesn't work half bad, and it's a really cheap brand. I don't know if I would repurchase it, maybe if I was in a pinch, because it, it, it worked better than I thought it would. I'm just not a huge fan of the big wand. All right, this is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Had this sample for a while now, finally finished it. Really love this one as opposed to the exfoliating one. Sucks everything out of your pores, gets really, really hard, leaves your face feeling super soft afterwards. Very expensive though, I don't know if I'd actually buy the full size, but it was a very nice mask. Next, Leilani 3-in-1 Revolution Light Toner Serum Moisturizer. I did not use this up, I used it twice, and it was awful. It was greasy, it made my makeup pill up from underneath, it made me break out. Um, I used it twice and realized I had to throw it away. I couldn't use it, so no. This is a big no. I got that in Ipsy. Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I've gone through many, many of these. This one started to crack by the lid there, as you can see. Um, really good, cheap mascara. I've talked about it in many empties, so I'm not going to talk about it again. This is the Professional from The Balm. I love this. My favorite primer. I've gone through many samples. I need to invest in the big one. So I haven't bit the bullet on that. It does shrink your pores and it does make your makeup stay on longer and it's just amazing. I love it. All right, this guy I finally finished up. If you watch the five things I wanted to finish before fall. It's an Urban Decay eyeshadow stick in the color Sin. 
I can no longer sharpen it, I can no longer use it. It's officially done, it's one of my favorite colors. It's neutral, it's shimmery, it's beautiful, and I will be picking one of those up in the future. Two more products. One is the Sephora Eyebrow Pencil. I've gone through many of these. Cheap, um, cheap for Sephora eyebrow product that's waxy and it's like a pencil and it lasts a long time and it's waterproof and it's a great color for my brows. The color I have was, where are you? It's like light blonde or something. Honey blonde. And it's wonderful. And the last product's from Stila. It's a mini of the waterproof liquid eyeliner in brown. I got a set of these and the brown dried up first. One of my favorite liquid eyeliner pens, it looks like this. It's fabulous, highly recommend. Um, it just dried up, so I would repurchase. And that's about it for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, bye.